Hey guys, Larry here with Creaky Chair Models. Today I installed a HO speedometer in a friend's layout. Um, it's actually a dual speedometer, and I'll shoot a video of that later in the week and upload it. But I wanted to talk a little bit about these standalone sensors and something that came up. Um, as we were putting it in, the room was basically dark except for his lighting. And I could not get, for the life of me, this sensor to work correctly. Uh, it's one just like this. At any rate, I walked around and I was trying to find sources of infrared and I really didn't see anything. Um, so that prompted this video. Basically, I'm going to show you how to improve the range and get rid of spurious infrared and in this case it was actually his overhead lights he had three um, spotlights that were old incandescent lights and this thing did not like it so i'm going to cut to another video here but i'm going to introduce you to this guy a little bit this is a simple little sensor they're between 50 cents and a dollar depending on where you get them and basically as you get close to it you'll see the green light came on. So the transmitter's here, and it shoots out, and whatever reflects back turns it back on, okay? So you can see that I am I have to get probably within, oh, I don't know, maybe an inch away to get it to turn on. So I did some experimentation, and I wanted to show you a quick little thing I did. I cut a piece of styrene tubing, just regular plastic that fits the five millimeter LEDs on this thing. Okay, so what I did is I cut it just long enough that it fits onto the receiver. Okay, now I'm going to have to push it back because believe it or not, it really made a big difference. That one inch has turned into five inches doing it that way. And you get rid of all of the spurious infrared off of there. You could even paint this black and paint the back of it black if you want to. There's a little potentiometer here on the top I've talked about in other videos. And so basically what I do with this is I adjust that pot until the light comes on. Then I back it off until it just goes out. That gives me the maximum range. So what you can actually do is, let's say you had two tracks and you only wanted to pick up on one you could put your fingers at this track right here, adjust the pot until it goes out and bring it until it comes on. And that'll give you the range this close and, and not that close. Anyway, it's a quick little video. Um, the other shot I did will show you that this is actually the transmitter. That's the receiver. Okay, here's the purple glow of the uh, transmitter side right here. You can kind of see it. I'll block the light and it'll show a little bit better. Um, these things are available on Amazon. I'll go ahead and put a link to the um, to the Amazon auction for them. I think they're 10 for 8 bucks on Prime. Uh, if you buy them from China and you're willing to wait, I think you can get them as cheap as 35 or 40 cents in that range off of eBay. These things are great. They have a, they take five volts in, and there's another pin over here that you can hardly see. That's your output pin. And actually, when that light's on, the pin goes low, despite the fact that the LED is on. It's opposite logic of what you would expect. I did an experiment by putting this over the transmitter, and the range got a little better, but you gained the susceptibility to the spurious infrared. You can, if spurious infrared isn't a problem, put one on both and it actually increased by about 25% more. I've gotten about a six inch range out of this thing when I tweaked it up just right. So these things are great. They're handy for your Arduino projects. Um, they'll handle a 20 milliamp output. So they technically would toggle a low current five volt relay. Um, but I, I use the opto-isolated relays with Arduino. And by the way, yeah, you can see the purple light right there. So, uh, yeah, it worked out perfectly. So anyway, 
That's it. I won't prattle anymore. If you have any questions, let me know. But I just figured I'd put this out there for you guys. Thanks. Thanks.